Good morning, everybody. This is Bo Dotson with Weather Talk, Bo Dotson Weather, and WeatherObservatory.com. We've got a wintry mess that's going to be impacting our region over the coming 24 hours, maybe 36 hours. We look at temperatures right now and check it out. Wide range of temperatures, 19 degrees in Pelosi, Missouri. It's in the 30s across western Kentucky, northwest Tennessee, but above freezing as you move. Uh, Metrop right now at the Weather Observatory, I'm about 33 degrees. Paducah, 34, uh, 36 degrees in Owensboro, 34 in Evansville. We told you last night that we weren't quite sure about that southern edge of counties that they would go below freezing. There was a winter weather advisory in effect, but uh, that didn't verify at this point on that southern end of counties. The rest of it, icy mass, schools are closed, scattered school closings, numerous accidents reported in southeast Missouri and southern Illinois. Icy, icy, icy. Be very careful out there. Don't step out on what appears to be a wet ground and then it ends up being ice. You could slip and fall and hurt yourself. Let's take a look at a couple of things here. What determines precipitation type? That's a good question. So let's go to one of the graphics I have here, if I can get it to load. Let's take a look here. We see snow is when it's 32 degrees all the way from the cloud all the way to the ground. 32 degrees normally, normally, that's snow. But sometimes a wedge of warm air moves up into our region and that layer of warm air aloft melts the snowflakes. When a snowflake melts, it can't become a snowflake again. It becomes liquid. Then, if it's cold and the cold depth is deep enough, it turns to ice, which is called sleet. If the warm layer is, warm, is wider, deeper, like this graphic here, the rain doesn't have time to refreeze as far as an ice pellet. So then when it reaches the surface and it's if it's 32 degrees at the ground level or colder, that becomes freezing rain. If it's warm all the way down, that's just plain rain. So the depth of this warm layer is what determines our precipitation type. And over the next 24 hours, this colder air is going to continue to move deeper and deeper into our region, falling temperatures today. And as new precipitation moves in from the west, southwest later today, that is going to bring about uh, additional rounds of snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Uh, the temperature depth, again, is going to make all the difference. We look at radar this morning, and there's a little bit of light, patchy freezing rain, uh, perhaps some snowflakes and sleet over southern Illinois and southeast Missouri. We have a little drizzle here at the Weather Observatory. Again, it's 33 degrees. And then we look to the southwest. This is the beginning of what will become widespread freezing rain, sleet, and snow. And that will push into our region as we move through the next 12 to 24 hours. Some of this frozen precipitation will arrive this afternoon before schools close. I strongly recommend schools that are going to be impacted by the afternoon precip close by noon today. Make sure you're tracking the precip. If you're a school superintendent, watch the radar, see where it's going, watch the future cast radars, and know what's going on so that you don't get the kids caught out in the sleet, freezing rain, and snow because temperatures will fall today into the 20s. So whatever falls will stick to side roads, bridges, overpasses, decks, sidewalks, just going to be an icy mess. So let's be careful out there. Let's take a quick look at the winter weather advisories. Let's do that first. We have an ice storm warning for parts of western Tennessee into Arkansas. That's going to be for this afternoon into Wednesday morning. We have a winter weather advisory for southern Illinois, southeast Missouri, and a few western Kentucky counties this morning. Then that expires. And a new winter weather advisory for far southeast Missouri, the Missouri Boot Hill, northwest Tennessee, extreme southern Illinois, and western Kentucky for this afternoon into tonight into tomorrow morning. So multiple products as far as winter weather advisories and warnings and watches. Let's go ahead and go to the future cast radar. I'm watching the new data roll in. Let's just, let's go ahead and look at the new data, the 12Z run, the 6 a.m., 7 a.m. run, and let's loop this, and we're going to watch new precipitation roll into the region as we move through this afternoon. You see this morning's precip moving out, but look to the southwest. This system will get better organized become widespread with freezing rain, sleet, and snow as we move through the afternoon hours. Here we are at 6 p.m. and it's moving through southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, and will overspread western Kentucky as we move through the evening hours. 
Hopefully it holds off to the kids who are out of school. But uh, again, I would strongly recommend everyone pay attention and get home before this arrives because it's going to be an icy, icy mess. Here we are at 9 p.m. tonight, snow to the north in the blue, sleet in the purple, and freezing rain across parts of Kentucky, Boot Hill, into Tennessee. Let's switch over to a longer radar view of that. And we'll go through, we'll go ahead and get past where we just stopped. And we'll go through tonight, we'll stop here at midnight, and you can see the precipitation starting to exit the region. And then by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, most of it is gone. Maybe a little bit over here in Muhlenberg, Todd, in Christian counties remaining, but that will be on the way out. Then tomorrow night, we'll watch another band of precipitation move towards our region. This time, probably just our southern counties, although maybe up into Kentucky, we'll have to watch that. It's being suppressed south by this very strong high pressure center moving over St. Louis, moving over the Ohio, Missouri Valley helps to suppress the storm track farther south. So the bottom line for today is we've got some morning patchy freezing rain, drizzle, sleet over the region, some plain old drizzle where temperatures haven't fallen below freezing. Again, 32 on this map at about 7.15 a.m. in Metropolis, 32 in Paducah. I've still got 33 here at the Weather Observatory. It's close, so it's close. So we just want to be careful that first step. If you step outside, be careful and make sure it's not ice. And then additional precip will arrive this afternoon from Oklahoma and Arkansas. Moving northeast, overspreading our region with freezing rain, sleet, and snow. Icy conditions tonight. I do not recommend travel tonight where precipitation is falling. It's going to be icy. Everything's going to be covered in ice of some sort, sleet, freezing rain, maybe a little snow over our northern counties, and then a lull tomorrow afternoon, and then another round tomorrow night over mainly our southern counties, mainly our southern counties, far southern counties tomorrow night. We'll see how far north that spreads. And then the Wednesday night and Thursday event looks like mainly rain, maybe a little wintry mix. But the caveat with that one is it may just be too far south and miss us entirely. So we'll keep an eye on that busy pattern. Looking ahead to February, we've got multiple storm systems. I'm tracking six systems in the first 15 days of the month. Every two or three days, a system arrives. Every two, three, four days, a system arrives. But I am tracking multiple systems that would keep us busy every 48 to 72 hours. Some of those could bring thunderstorms, maybe severe thunderstorms. Some of those could bring snow. We've got a wide range of weather in February headed our way. All right, have a nice day. Be careful out on the ice and don't take any risks that you don't have to.